So this is called critical period. And that's why um, early musical training can dramatically uh, change your brain so that you can acquire the pitch discrimination skill, for example, or rhythm discrimination or harmony perception. So this is quite important because after age seven or eight, it's quite difficult or very demanding at least uh, to acquire these abilities. So that's why I do encourage you to practice before age uh, seven or eight. You might worry that, uh, that your musical skill can be forgotten um, at adulthood, but this is unlikely. Uh, there is a very famous study coming from Chicago very recently that showed that early musical training uh, has a, a profound effect um, throughout your life. So that's why over decades, your musical brain is still in your brain. So that's why you don't have to worry about forgetting that, okay? And so that's why um, I do encourage again that um, early musical training, which is quite optimized for your brain, is very important. So musical performance is quite multimodal experience, which means you have to integrate various different um, perceptions, like coming from the vision, which is very important for reading the scores, and also you have to listen to tones of course, to play the piano, right? And also, you have to feel the touch from your finger bit, a finger pad, which is called um, haptic information. You have to integrate these different modality of information to play the piano. That's why I said this is multimodal uh, integration process. And, and this ability is, can be easily acquired at early childhood and before age and seven or eight. Again, this is a critical period. So through um, experience, um, auditory experience, visual experience, and also haptic experience, you can integrate this information in your brain. What is important in Yamaha method is Yamaha is not only focusing on the one modality like listening, but also they are always um, encouraging uh, to listen and see and feel and everything. I mean, the, everything is uh, integrated in your brain. So that's why this kind of the multimodal training is quite important uh, for your skill acquisition for musical performance. Um, our brain can um, acquire skills to integrate uh, multimodal uh, functions or informations, um, particularly during early childhood. Um, when composer composes their music, like a piano pieces, um, they imagine the different uh, tones or different instrument sounds, like here is a violin and here is cello and so on. But for pianists, it's quite difficult to imagine these different instrumental sounds only by using the piano. That's why electric keyboard can help you to imagine or even listen to the violin sound here, or you can also try to listen to cello sound. And by using this device, you can um, enlarge your imagination of the palette of the tones. And this is quite important at early musical, uh, early ages, um, because um, the ability to listening to different timbre um, is improved from age three until age eight. So of course after that, the ability can be improved, but it's getting more difficult. And that's why the playing with an um, electric keyboard at early age would be very beneficial uh, for acquiring the musical ability. Big uh, benefit of uh, taking a group lesson is uh, to acquire social skills, like to communicate or collaborate with the other people. This is quite difficult only by taking the private lesson with one piano teacher because there is nobody else. So that's why in a group lesson, you can socialize with other or even interact during practicing and during performing. For example, uh, when you play like a chamber music situation, you play solo and the, your friend might play the, like the accompany part, uh, like a cello or other, uh, other, other musical instrument. In such situation, um, your friend might sometimes speed up or accelerate the tempo. And you have to decide um, whether you have to accelerate it as well, like your friend, or you have to keep your tempo, depending on the situation. 
such kind of skill is quite important in the real world situation as well. Because for example, if you are collaborating uh, with some colleagues in one project, um, you have to interact and sometimes you have to lead, but you have to adapt also to the others to maximize the output of the project. So this is also a social skill. So that's why there are many similarities between the real world situation and the music and group lesson situation as well. Um, through the early uh, musical training, there are many benefits. Of course, playing the musical instrument is one benefit, big benefit. However, there is um, other benefit, such as the improvement of non-musical skills, such as improvement of the intelligence, like an increase of the IQ or EQ, and also improvement of the um, acquisition of the foreign languages. For example, uh, when you are communicating with others, in a very noisy situation, which is very likely in a real, real life situation. And then you need a skill of um, accurately uh, understand what your colleague is speaking. And through the early musical training, you can acquire such skills. This is very important for the uh, acquisition of the foreign language. And also, for some languages, um, the rhythmic information and the pitch information is very info, uh, Im important to understand the emotional contents. So um, through the early, early musical training, you can acquire such a, um, pitch recognition ability and also rhythm recognition ability. This also enhances the language acquisition skill. Through musical training, uh, you have uh, many opportunities to play in front of a lot of people, like in front of audience, and also in the, at the concert situation or competition situation. Um, this is also very frightening uh, um, experience. So that's why you can acquire skill to express what you are thinking and what you are feeling in front of a lot of people. This is called a presentation skill and very important, not only as a performer, but also in the business situations like the presentation. So that's why uh, RE musical training is also beneficial um, for acquiring the presentation skill. And finally, uh, musical training is very important uh, for enhance uh, your short-term and long-term memory. So for example, when you have to play a new piece, which is called uh, sight playing, uh, you have to uh, read the score and in a real-time manner, you have to convert or transform this visual information into the movement. And during this visual motor transformation process, you have to memorize this score information for short term. So this is a very good training for the short-term memory. And also, uh, when you play on the concert situation, you have to memorize a lot of different pieces. It's a vast memory. So that's why you have to uh, keep this memory and you have to recall this memory on the stage. So this is a, a good opportunity for the uh, long-term memory training. The biggest feature of the Yamaha program is, um, again, this is a multimodal experience. So through having this program, uh, for example, you can acquire a skill of so-called um, ear play. Ear play is a skill to convert the um, the sound information into the movement information in a real-time manner. So for example, when you listen to some music, uh, you can imagine, for example, the corresponding um, hand movement or hand shape. So that's very, very important because um, this is an um, auditory and motor transformation process. And also again, um, through, the, uh, through reading the uh, scores, you can acquire the visual motor transformation um, experience as well. So again, this is very, very uh, multimodal experience. Through um, having the information from vision, auditions, and haptic, then your brain can integrate all information. This is particularly important for playing the piano. Uh, playing the piano. But um, this is also quite unique in the uh, Yamaha education system. Um, another feature of Yamaha program is to have a group lesson. Um, when I was a child, I had some friends taking the group lesson with together. And 
sometimes to play the piano is very, very difficult and demanding and even depressing because um, even after practicing, practicing and practicing, some, piece is, some pieces are quite difficult to play. But in such a situation, uh, we can encourage with together and we can solve the problem with together. So this is a very big advantage of having a group lesson and totally different from only having a private lesson. Unique feature of Yamaha program is for everyone to acquire the improvisation skill. Improvisation is not the skill to making something from scratch. It's a kind of the selection and the combination of different uh, pieces of the skill. And Yamaha has a very unique program so that everyone can acquire this skill really easily. Such an improvisation training um, developed by Yamaha is quite unique and totally different from the uh, private lessons. Even having a lot of private lessons, it's quite um, unusual uh, to acquire the improvisation skill. And also, even in the music conservatories, there is no such program for everyone to acquire the improvisation skills. And uh, through acquiring the uh, improvisation skills, um, you can create uh, many things, not only in the musical situation, but also in the social situation, like the presentation, as like me.